Well, two people are in serious condition tonight after a wrong way driver crashed head on into a tow truck just as the operator was loading a car. The entire incident was caught on video. Channel 3's Brandon Simmons joins us now from Fairview Park tonight. Brandon, just hearing that, it sounds hard to watch. Yeah, it was definitely a, a difficult video to look at, but police called this tow truck operator out to the scene after they were impounding a car after a traffic stop. That driver didn't have a valid license, and it just took a few seconds for what turned what started as a traffic stop to turn into a life-saving effort. It's the kind of video we've seen too many times. A wrong way driver crosses the center line causing a horrific crash, this time in Fairview Park during a traffic stop by police. If they determine that they're going to impound the vehicle, that they stopped, called for a tow, patents towing arrived. They're stopped on Lorraine Road near West 204th Street. The tow truck operator is working to secure the car to the truck. While laying on the ground, a car headed in the opposite direction slams into the tow truck and pins the driver underneath. Take a look again. You can see the truck operator fly a few feet before the truck lands on his leg. Immediately, this traffic stop by police turned into a life-saving effort. As soon as they realized the severity of it, they reacted and, and got help for the uh, injured people. Police on scene jumped into action to raise the truck off the operator's leg before rendering first aid, applying a tourniquet to his leg until help could arrive. Both the driver of the car and the tow truck operator were taken to Metro Health Medical Center with serious injuries. Lieutenant Shepard says he's happy with the quick response of officers and hopes this is a reminder for people to pay attention to their actions when they see flashing lights. If you see flashing lights, obviously focus on where you want to drive, not the flashing lights, and that way you'll get by us safely. Now, police don't yet know uh, what exactly caused this crash. They say they are going to continue to look into things like alcohol, drugs, maybe even lack of sleep to try, try to find out what were the contributing factors in this crash. Of course, that's something they want to find out very soon here. Live in Fairview Park, I'm Brandon Simmons, Channel 3 News. Wow. Thank you, Brandon. What a reminder.